Bring me out, bring me out, my family, my church, all our members, out from every bondage hastily. The bondage of affliction, the bondage of poverty, the bondage of failure in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray, Lord, bring us all out from every, out of every bondage hastily. Bring us out, Lord. Bring us out, Lord. Rabbi Yanda. Bring us out, Lord. Randele Bokshalakatande. Lord, bring us out hastily from every bondage. Sakato Shalaba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. I just want to quickly charge us before we pray. We're going to pray more. That's the will of God. Amen. On the subject of deliverance for a supernatural elevation. Deliverance for a supernatural elevation. Deliverance for a supernatural elevation. Thank you, precious Jesus. Jesus. When you study through the Bible, you discover that before everyone was elevated in the Bible, they all were delivered. Are you following what I'm saying? Take, for example, Abraham, the father of faith. Before he was elevated to the point where he was made the father of all nations, the father of faith, through whom God has said, through you, the families of the earth shall be blessed. Don't forget, before he came to that point, he was elevated. He was delivered from his family. He was delivered from the bondage, from what stopped the father and what stopped the parent. I pray for you in the name of Jesus tonight in this service. May God deliver you for elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, May God deliver you for elevation in the name of Jesus. So, anyone who needs elevation, what you need first is deliverance. Anyone who needs elevation, the first thing you need is elevation. Every elevation is preceded by deliverance. Until you are delivered, you can never. Be elevated. I'm sure it's it's no longer a news to you that there are enemies everywhere. Am I talking to somebody here? There are enemies everywhere. As a matter of fact, there are more enemies that are against you that you do not know compared to the one that you know. Am I talking to somebody here? There are so much. The Bible says in Fraser 5 like the whole world lies in wickedness. Why? Because there are wicked men, more wicked men than wicked women. I'm talking to somebody who are constituting wickedness against mankind. And for you to be elevated in the midst of the wickedness of the wicked, my dear, you have got to be delivered. Therefore, I pray in the name of Jesus today, may God deliver you for, uh, for elevation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear a powerful amen. Now, what do I do if I must secure? deliverance for my elevation. What do I do? Of course, I believe that every one of us by now, we know that nothing just happened. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, we're going to use Joseph as case study. There are some things we're going to look at in this life that prompted his deliverance. Hallelujah. That prompted his deliverance. Now, before I move on, there's one thing God will want me to say to us. My dear, one thing I'd like you to know, as a child of God, no matter what you're going through, understand that you are not alone. God is with you. The Bible said in all the things that Joseph went through, he was in Potiphar's and was sold into slavery. From there he was being sent into the prison. The Bible said in all of all this situation, God was with him. Hallelujah. Check the person next to you. If you're a child of God, God is with you. Oh my God. Tell another person, say, if you're a child of God, you are not alone. Oh my God. Tell one more person, say, if you're a child of God, you are not alone. Am I speaking to somebody here? So no matter what you are going through, all you just need to figure out is whether or not you are still a child of God. And I can tell you, if you're a child of God, I can tell you, I can tell you point blank that you are not alone. God is with you. And therefore, if God is with you, no matter what you go through, my dear, I can guarantee you that you are going to come out victorious. Am I speaking to somebody here? Let me hear a name like thunder. He said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. He said, when you go through the fire, I will be with you. Am I talking to somebody here? Listen, there is nothing too tough for God. God does not run away from any fire because he's fire himself. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, the Bible says, 12 verse 29, I believe, he said, our God is a consuming fire. Am I talking to somebody here? He, he himself is fire. Am I talking to somebody here? Hallelujah. Now, what must we do if we're going to secure deliverance for elevation like Joseph did? Number one, 
He must be a child of God. It's very important. And it's very important. Listen, God, the God we serve is a deliverer. But I must let us know that he does not deliver everybody. He only deliver his own. Are you listening to what I'm saying? He made his own children to pass through the Red Sea and cause the children of the devil to drown in the same Red Sea. He only delivered his own. And that is why you must make sure that God owns you. He said, if God does not own you, he does not owe you. And you follow what I'm saying? He does not owe you anything. Until God owns you, he does not owe you anything, including deliverance. Ask the person next to you, are you a child of God? Listen, the Bible says God knows them that are his. There are so many people who claim to be children of God. Hallelujah. You can't be a child of God and do not do his will. Jesus Christ speaking to them, he said, you are your father, the devil. Why? Because the will of your father, that's what you do. The will of the devil, that's what you do. The only ones who are children of God are those who, are who does his will. Jesus Christ speaking the other day, he says, it's not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, that is actually a child of God, paraphrase, that we enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my father, which is in heaven. No matter how tall it is, that was what Joseph did. In the midst of fire, he maintained the will of God. He did not compromise. That's what we know, children of God. We know who are children of God when they go to trials. They maintain the will of their father. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Ask the person next to you. Ask the person, say, I know that you are going through some stuff. Tell the person, in the midst of all of those things, are you still a child of God? Hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. Amen. There are people, there are many political Christians who switch every now and then when there are crises, when things are happening in this <laughs> in this party, they switch to that party. They switch to the other party. I'm not talking about crazy cross carpet, they call it. They cross, they switch every now and then. When things are tough here, yeah, they switch to another one. When there are challenges here, yeah, they switch to another one. Sometimes they even come and they form their own party. <laughs> I've been talking to somebody here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Church Christianity is not politics. Say, say to the person next to you, say Christianity is not politics. <laughs> oh my God. Say to another person, say Christianity is not politics. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we must stop being political. Hallelujah. <laughs> we must stop being what? Political. Amen. Remain in God. Just like Job will say, even though he slates me, yet will I trust him. Be a child of God. Be a child of God. No matter what. Come rain or shine. Remain a child of God. Don't switch from God and give yourself to the devil. It is better to die in the situation as a child of God than to come out from that situation as a child of the devil. Are you following what I'm saying? And the eyes of men say, hey, hey, she's no longer sick, she's not, she's free. Say, how did that come? They say it's one younger than that, that, that helped her or that helped him. <laughs> it's not a good news, it's a bad news. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It's a mockery to your life. I'm speaking to somebody here. It would have been better if we never born again at all than to be forced a child of God and switch to become a child of the devil. It would have been better that you were not even a child of God. Say to the person next to you, say, I will never switch. <laughs> Whether the devil likes it or not, I will remain a child of God. Let them do their worst. I will remain a child of God. I will not renounce God. The Bible said, John, John was told to renounce God. Cast God and die. You know what? Renounce is God. Denounce him. And uh, people are renouncing God, denouncing God every day of their lives. Many. You know they were telling me somebody who used to come to church. The person is now is now doing Sangoma thing. There was one who moved from all, from different departments. Uh, before she finally left, she, she suggested a department that we put her in charge of the whole department. The last time I heard of this person, they said she uh, she's now 
a sound, is a Sangoma they call it. That the one that the grandmother has done Sangoma thing or what have made her introduce her or initiated her or something into Sangoma listening. Just imagine that we made we made her put her in charge of the church. She would have scattered this church. This church by now, this church would have finished. Because all of those things that she was doing, it was being prompted by Satan. It was being influenced by Satan. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Ask the person next to you who is leading you. Who is leading you? Who is influencing your character, your words, everything that you are doing? When you see somebody moving from one department to another, my dear, understand that the person is under the control of the devil. You see somebody moving from church to church. They can any church they attend, they always have problem. My dear, you are better pray. Are you following what I'm saying? As a matter of moving from church to church, you can't grow. You can't grow. You don't just move like that. It is Holy Spirit that leads you to the church. Are you following what I'm saying? So if the Holy Spirit leads you to a church, no matter what happens there, remain there. The devil will try to fight you to pull you out, but refuse to come out. I pray every devil that is fighting to pull you out from God, I pray may God frustrate them in the name of Jesus Christ.